Stacy Shelderoth with 360 Yield Center and today we're going to be talking about taking a soil sample test. So we're going to do a quick demonstration here and just run through with you the steps that are involved with testing on the soil scan machine. So we've already got a jump start on it. We put our calibration model on with our fresh standard solution this morning and we ran through the calibration and so we're on step one of prepare soil. So what we can do here is we're just going to follow the steps that are listing, listed on the app. And the first step is to transfer two level scoops of soil into your cup. So we're going to take a five ounce Dixie cup and the soil scoop that came with your soil scan machine. And I've got some fresh samples here and we're just going to pull those out of the bucket and take two level scoops. And then you can see what I have here for soil. Not a whole lot of big clumps in them. If you do have some big clumps, go ahead and break those up with your hands and your fingers or use the, the back rod of the spoon to do that too. So once we get that, we're going to place that cup on the mixing station here. Just make sure it fits up real good and that the shelf is flushed right there. And then we're going to hit mix soil. And from here you can go in and you can type in your farmer and your farm field and field analysis. You can add in a sample number. We'll just put sample number 10 and a sample depth of 12. And we'll put a quarter length of 12 too on here. You can also snap your latitude and longitude right there if you want. And you can type in notes here too if you wanted to add the date or whatever you want to put in there as well. So we've completed our mix cycle now and it's taken us to step three of four and start analysis reading. So what you do here is you just remove the calibration model from the sensors and we're going to take our slurry mix. You can see how well that mixed up there. And we're going to transfer it to the sensor station over here. Then we'll go down and we'll press start reading for our soil analysis. And from here you can see that we have our nitrate that's appearing. We're starting out at eight parts per million and we have all of our information listed on the screen there. So we'll just let this run for about a minute and a half and then it should complete and pop up our nitrate reading in parts per million. So our soil analysis finished up and we came in at six parts per million on this. And now if you want, we can go into our calculate end need, which is going to bring up our report here. And from here we can go in and get the estimated corn end need amount here. So over in this area, it shows us our six parts per million and our core length. You can go in here and enter in your yield potential. So if you think you're shooting for 300 bushels an acre, you can put that in and you can put your growth stage in down here. Just move the bar across. And if you have your organic matter that's known, go ahead and put that in too. And down below, it'll give you your results on the estimated additional N needed. And for here, this one says 259 pounds of N per acre on there. What you can also do is just go ahead and switch those around a little bit too if you want to um, look at some other data points as well. So we'll go in and change the organic matter to 2.4 and then I'll change your estimated additional end need too. So from here you can hit export. It'll bring up an option on how you want to export. You can take it out through Dropbox or Google Drive or iTunes or normally I just email the report to myself. So you get your email to come up. Type in your email address that you want to send your report to. You'll notice that you'll have the PDF right there. Go ahead and hit send. And then that's going to send that out to your email. And then you'll go into your email. And then it'll pull up that report for, for you that we just did. So this is a good asset to have if you want to have a hard copy or an electronic copy to send to your customer. And from there, just press test another sample and it'll take you back to step one of four and prepare soil. So then you can just repeat those steps again 
to continue testing your soil samples that you collected. From the All Results tab, you can go under your farmer and you can export out your reports too if you want to have a hard copy to give to customers or if you want to email them a copy. So we'll go in, we'll take a look at this farm here and we'll hit export and it'll give you the option of how you want to export out. So I'm just going to email it out type in my email address where I'm sending it to. I'm just going to send it to myself and you'll see down here it will give it to you in a CSV format and it will also give it to you in a PDF format. So when you have your email address pressed in just go ahead and hit send and then we'll go over to our email account and we'll grab that email right here and you can see it's going to give you this report and it's going to give you uh, a readout of all of the tests that you did along with your um, results right there. And it's also going to give you a little map of your location of your sample points right here too. So this is a good source to have if you do want to send them out to a customer and have use them as a reference for your customer.